is a keystone in bearing witness to the world that Jesus is the Christ. Travis Wayne Goodsell. I uh, found this morning a uh, Boston University article back in uh, 2012 when Mitt Romney was running for president. And it was titled, Why We're Afraid of Mormons. And the opening sentence was by their underwear we shall know them I have been doing videos since 2014 more dominantly since 2015 when I got this laptop <clears throat> and uh, in the beginning <sighs> it was just to share with you my knowledge it wasn't until the 23rd of September 2017 when it began the process of sharing with you that we are in the latter days even though I was doing videos since November 2016 on that subject matter I was doing research and so my number one video still to this day is the one I did in July 2017 <clears throat> it's still on here just go to my home page video page and then click on the oldest videos or not the well, most popular. <clears throat> and you will see it. When you click on the oldest videos, you'll see the poor quality videos that I was making. Trying to learn my movie maker. And it's a real simple thing because it was the video I did on uh, Adam Fell as the doctrine of the Book of Mormon that caused my bishop at the time to say pull down that video or why do you bother to come to church really Adam fell huh? going against the prophets he said Second Nephi, Chapter Two. Verse twenty two. And now behold, if Adam had not transgressed, he would not have fallen, but he would have remained in the Garden of Eden. Second Nephi, Chapter Two, Verse twenty five. 
Adam fell, that men might be, and men are, that they might have sex, I mean joy. The Messiah cometh in the latter days to save the Mormons. <clears throat> Mosiah 3.11 For behold, and also his blood atoneth for the sins of those who have fallen by the transgression of Adam. Mosiah 3.16 But I say unto you that they are blessed, for behold, as in Adam, or by nature, they fall. Mosiah 3.19 For the natural man is an enemy to God, and has been from the fall of Adam. Mosiah 3.26 Therefore they have drunk out of the cup of the wrath of God, which justice could no more deny unto them than it could deny that Adam should fall because of his partaking of the forbidden fruit. Mosiah 4, verse 7. I say that this is the man who receiveth salvation through the atonement which was prepared from the foundation of the world for all mankind, which ever were since the fall of Adam. Alma 12, 22. Now we see that Adam did fall by partaking of the forbidden fruit, according to the word of God. And thus we see that by his fall, all mankind became a lost and fallen people. Helaman, chapter 14, verse 16. Yea, behold, this death bringeth to pass the resurrection, and, the re and redeemeth all mankind from the first death, that spiritual death, for all mankind by the fall of Adam, being cut off from the presence of the Lord. Joseph Smith 140. Joseph Smith History 140. Uh, Mormon chapter 9 verse 12. Behold, he created Adam, and by Adam came the fall of man. And because of the fall of man came Emmanuel. Moses chapter 6 verse 48 despite plagiarizing Genesis in many instances nonetheless what was added is and he said unto them because that Adam fell we are and by his fall came death so is it a contradiction Confirmation in the Doctrine and Covenants, which is 
not in the listing. So we got to go to section 29, verse 36 and 40. And it came to pass that Adam, being tempted of the devil, for behold, the devil was before Adam. For he rebelled against me, saying, Give me thine honor, which is thy power. And third, the host of heaven turned away because of their agency. Wherefore, it came to pass that the devil tempted Adam. And he partook of the forbidden fruit and transgressed the commandment wherein he became subject to the will of the devil, because he yieldeth unto temptation. And my bishop in West Valley City said, take down this video, or why are you bothering to come to church? You are going against the prophets. I have never gone back to church. I will not deny the Book of Mormon and the doctrines in it. It is our keystone. If the prophets are preaching against the Book of Mormon, the prophets are wrong. And so, yes, this is the case. What religion does the Book of Mormon say we are to be? First Nephi chapter 1 verse 2. The learning of the Jews. And the context tells us it's pre-Babylonian captivity Jews who were Egyptian. Thus the language of the Egyptians. So what religion then is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They say Christian. Is Jewish Egyptians the same religion as Christians? Nope. So why then is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints claiming the Book of Mormon as theirs. It is this falsehood that exposes the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as a fraud. It cannot be true. If they're going to continue to claim that the Book of Mormon is theirs, but lie to us and say that it's another testament of Jesus Christ. Because again, we now go to the Christians and expose them. The New Testament scriptures are not Christian. They're Jewish. So, religion of the Jews? Christians? Using the Jewish scriptures to claim it's Christian? Uh-uh. We've got a fraud alert. And then we can throw in Islam since they're the ones that are causing Armageddon. In accordance with the plot of Albert Pike so that Islam would go to war against the Zionists 
people have assumed it's just Jews. Christians are Zionists. Mormons are Zionists. It's Islam versus the world, guys. And so Albert Pike says this war will be worldwide and it will get extreme because it's to destroy religion. Islam, Christianity, taking down the Jews as the victims yet again. So that Lucifer's doctrine of taking away agency, forcing people to obey, becomes the rule of the day. The enemies of the church, aka ex-Mormons, former Mormons critics, have been fighting for decades against the church incorrectly. You keep fighting the branch offs of this false core doctrine. The big lie. Rather than going straight to the jugular and exposing it to Mormons. And they have had some success. Over 10 million Mormons no longer attend the church. They're no longer active. The church still claims them on their insurance frauds. Inflating their assets. Mm -hmm. Criminals do the same things. They all flock together. But it's because of these false doctrines that the members of the church and aided and abetted by the prophets create a tree of falsehood based on the core lie. And so if you look at the church, everything is completely different from Joseph Smith. As the church deceives Mormons. None of us were born during Brigham Young so we don't know what it looked like. But the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has posted an online website of the Joseph Smith Papers so that every single Mormon can know that they're a fraud. That it's not Joseph's church. But the church is fully confident that they've sufficiently brainwashed you into thinking celestial so that you will not go there, that you will not hold the church to account, to put them to the test, to study and to research it, and then find out that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints refuses to make the necessary changes in our canon of scripture to come out and confess that, hey, there's a lot of forged documents claiming to be by Joseph Smith. And once you understand that there are forged documents, you then understand why the Book of Mormon preaches against priestcraft and section 119 orders priestcraft. Now you understand why Brigham Young claims to be the successor of Joseph Smith. 
but the church won't come out and confess. Yeah, Brigham Young is the first president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They won't change Wikipedia. They won't change other sites. They won't tell the press the correct information. And so, yeah, the name of the church is not the name of Joseph Smith's church. You now know forged documents. Any of our canon saying that Joseph Smith gave the name of the church as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a forged document, section 115, which was read over the pulpit of conference by Nelson. He knew the Joseph Smith papers. He knew, he knows, he's not dead yet, that it's a forged document. And yet, he comes out and says it, perpetuating the lie. And so to maintain and perpetuate the lie, he put fear in you. That Jesus, the false Christ, is now angry when Mormons use the name of Joseph Smith's church as an acronym. LDS Church. Jesus is now angry. He's offended. How dare you, Mormons? He went on a, several conferences tirade on that. Blaming Mormons for betraying Jesus, who's a false Christ. The fear of Jesus in you to get you to conform and comply. And yes, when I was living in West Valley City, when he gave those talks, Mormons came after me. Because I'm still using the nicknames. And my fellow neighbors condemned me and shunned me for using the nicknames Jesus is angry and offended with. Because if Jesus is angry and offended, so too must Mormons be angry and offended. And so, what does Nelson do after that? After Mormons are angry and offended with the enemies of the church online? Nelson comes out and condemns you again. You have to be nice and civil online. You can't attack the enemies of the church. This is how it works. And so Mormons get confused. Well, but Jesus is angry and offended, so I should be too. Why are you blaming me? I really had Travis going. I was owning him. I bore testimony of Jesus to him, not showed him. Truth is hard, Travis. <laughs> it's all the rituals in the temple. Yes, by Brigham, not Joseph. Magic underwear, yeah which causes fear in the world. <laughs> Brigham. Because the church won't tell you the truth. And they can never tell you the truth because their whole church is based on a lie. If they come out and say it's a lie, then what? Mormons now 
are told that they've been giving their money to a lie. That they've been bullied and abused spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally. That worthiness only comes from being a full tithe payer. And that that criminal money is used to commit other crimes. Now you understand why the SEC fined the church five million dollars. Now you see that the whole church is not a religion. They're using religion as a front for their criminal operation. <clears throat> and so yes, Mormons have to betray Joseph Smith and denounce the Book of Mormon in order to maintain their faith bubbles. so that they don't crash and burn in a faith crisis. But, sorry Mormons, church played you. So the question is, will you willingly come out of the church? seeing the church for the fraud that it is to lessen the faith crisis or are you going to let the church use you as the sacrificial lambs for Armageddon to use your children as the sacrificial lambs for Armageddon just as Hamas is getting the Palestinian women and children to do to blame Israel when Islam too is a fraud claiming to be the fulfillment of the man like Moses from the Jewish scriptures And that therefore Islam has the right to rule and reign over the whole earth. And that Jesus of Christians is actually a Muslim and he's coming to murder all of you. That just blew me away. If you were to actually use the learning of the Jews, you'd see the Book of Mormon for what it really is. You'd see the words of Joseph Smith for what they really are. You would know who your Christ is to be and how to recognize him when he comes and warns you of the great and abominable church. Joseph Smith in verse 40, Joseph Smith history, warns you, listen to your Christ. And so now you know it's not Jesus. Now you know it's not the false prophets of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So now you understand who the one mighty and strong is. Now you understand who the man like Moses is. Section 103, verse 16. So otherwise, you're just going to continue to create doctrine where there are none. 
the whole concept of eternal families. You can be together with your family for all eternity. Think about that. <clears throat> You're a faithful and true member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Jesus is now real as unreal. And you die. And so you go to the Celestial Kingdom with your spouse. Is it one spouse or many? Because again, polygamy. Back in 2012, Nelson hadn't changed the law of chastity to restore polygamy. And so the church was still fooling the world and we're not polygamous anymore. Nope. Yet now, under Nelson, polygamy has been restored and Oaks is going around the world telling the world how awful and abominable the United States is for denying them their religious freedom to practice child bride polygamy again. And Nelson makes the change in the law of chastity, ordering Mormons to practice polygamy. Are you obedient? You claim you are, but are you? Are you keeping the covenant path and marrying other wives? Or you just get angry with people saying that they're heathen, evil enemies, Korahors, apostates, antichrists? Are you obedient to the law of polygamy that is in the covenant path of the law of chastity? Or are you just complaining and murmuring? I am obedient, I'm faithful. Not if you're not polygamist. And so regardless of whether you have one or many wives in the Celestial Kingdom, you're told you're going to be there with your family. Which means both your ascendants and your descendants. All in the same mansion? Oaks tells you to trust in the Lord in regards to that subject. <laughs> October 2019 reaffirming the change in the law of chastity having to do with polygamy and so the primary grooming for child bride time in 2022 the theme was trust in the Lord polygamy Child brides. But you miss it if you're a faithful and true Mormon who's disobedient to the law of polygamy. And so Nelson can then justify that you're wicked and then destroy you in the millennium for the end of Armageddon. Because you were wicked, so you need to be sacrificed so that the kingdom can return. But uh, who's going to fit in the mansion? Because you're now going to have spirit children with your wife or wives. Are you sure you're going to fit? Oh, trust in the Lord. Laws of physics no longer apply. Hmm, tell that to women. How many babies do you have to have and how soon do you have to have them? And the patriarchy tells you you won't experience pain. How many children are you required to have? <laughs> and the patriarchy tells you, women, that you won't feel any pain. 
spirit children. <laughs> and so, using that, the prophets tell you that your life on earth is to have babies. Not to be career women, not to go on missions. <sighs> babies. Not to be educated. Babies. You are wasting your time going on a mission, getting an education, getting a career. You're supposed to be having babies. And Oaks condemned the little 16-year-old girls this past May. The women in the church are wicked because they're denying themselves blessings by getting married later. There's still many who are not married. 16-year-old girls. You're already graduated from high school and have an MBA at BYU. Get married. You're wasting your time. You're wicked. You're not keeping the covenant path. You're still using the wrong name of the church. Right, saying some scripted? Oops, you used LDS. So, but all of this other stuff, the majority of my videos, all unnecessary if Mormons can simply understand the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints claims to be Christian and therefore are false. That's it. That's all. All the enemies of the church just need to say that to Mormons. We don't need to do YouTube channels. We just need to say, you claim to be Christian, right? Well, you're false. You take them to the Book of Mormon, 1 Nephi, chapter 1, verse 2. But Jesus was a Jew! <laughs> the name Jesus is in here! It's the center of our name! <laughs> You're just making your faith crisis worse, Mormons. Either that or you know, and you're purposely lying and gaslighting the rest of us. You are out there. I know you. You can't hide from me. You can't fool me. <clears throat> so, yeah. See, the thing that you're supposed to realize is that not only are you supposed to get out of the church, but you're also supposed to flee Utah. It's a dualistic thing to leave the church and leave the headquarter land of the church. Because the day that shall burn as an oven is coming. And there's been some delays. The church has had to do more things to get other people to do the job that others have failed. But it's coming. The church really wants their kingdom back. And so despite Christians believing that Jesus is coming to murder the Jews, Islam, and Mormons, despite Islamists who believe Jesus is coming to destroy the Christians, Jews, and Mormons, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believes that Jesus is coming 
to murder the Jews, the Christians, and the Islamists. <laughs> to overthrow all governments. And then if you've been paying attention, that's exactly what the church has been doing. When Nelson says in the coming days, what well, was in the coming days? Oh, you overthrew Roe v. Wade. Hmm. You tried to overthrow the government financially and criminally and seditiously. You put your exemption clause in the Disrespect for Marriage Act. Mm -hmm. You're buying up the land in preparation for Armageddon. New temples. That's what it's all about. Because they're not true. It's a front for their criminal operation. Once you come to the realization that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a fraud claiming to be Christian. Now you can see everything else. That's why I can do infinite number of videos. Because everything the Church says, everything the Church does, is a lie. That's why church news videos, every article, is a lie. They claim to give charity? Nope. It's a financial criminal operation going on. And so, this is why the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has been ordering Mormons to try to murder me, to torture me, having destroyed my life. And yet, it is a miracle I am still alive and in this apartment now. Because the church is pissed that I exposed them. And it was the Book of Mormon that did it. Because I'm a Mormon. Born and raised in the Covenant Path. Ordered to study my Book of Mormon. So I studied my Book of Mormon. And maybe it's because I taught myself as a kid to use associative memory, because I hated to memorize. That I'm able to recognize what the Book of Mormon says, and then hear the prophets at the pulpit of conference say something contrary. Which would then lead me on the path to where I am today. Hunted by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So, I think this video is long enough that I can now have breakfast and bathe and shave. And yeah, I could have put right at the very beginning, just make it a little short video, do some twerking, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a fraud because they claim to be Christian. The Book of Mormon says for the learning of the Jews. <laughs> it's addictive porn. But again, everything they do. It's a fraud. The Church is abusing women, severely abusing women. The patriarchy are severely abusing women. And as is common for abused women, 
they blame themselves and fall into depression. That's why Joseph Smith calls this church abominable. So come to the realization yourself, Mormons, to avoid a more severe faith crisis.